What are the best neighborhoods in St. Pete Beach? And what are the schools like here at the beach? Oh, and what's for sale at the beach? And uh, yeah, isn't that enough? Welcome to St. Pete Beach, Florida Living. I'm your host, Tracy Forth, fancy lady of real estate, resident of St. Pete Beach and beach realtor all up and down the Pinellas Coast. So if you're interested in learning more about beach living, St. Pete Beach and all of our Tampa Bay Gulf Coast communities, you've come to the right place. So welcome one and all. Did you know that it's not just retirees that are here all over Florida? It's young professionals, families, People of all ages, shapes, and sizes live here in Florida, and they're all flocking down in droves. They love St. Petersburg. They love St. Pete Beach. They're up in Clearwater, Dunedin. They're in Seminole, Largo, Pinellas Park. They're everywhere. After all, who wouldn't want to live where there's vacation? Now, that's some serious bragging rights. But if you're moving to Florida or you're moving within Florida, but Maybe you're not at the beach and you want to move to the beach. What neighborhood is right for you? What area is right for you? As a Tampa Bay and beach realtor, I work with folks coming from all over the place. <laughs> and they want to know where's the best place for families? Where's the best place for me? I like outdoor things. I want to be able to walk to restaurants and shopping. I want a great neighborhood. I want a house at the beach. I want a house with a water view within walking distance to the beach. Now today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you some of my favorite St. Pete Beach neighborhoods. So you'll get glimpses to see kind of what it looks like in some of these awesome neighborhoods of St. Pete Beach. Now in a future video, I'll have to shoot some more, get some up in Clearwater, get some Indian rocks and you know all those other little beach towns so you can see what they look like. But this is gonna give you a really good idea of what these beach neighborhoods look like. Oh, and be sure to wait till the end, go all the way to the end, because I'm going to be sharing with you some really cool market information. And just remember, if you're looking for the perfect house, I can help, but you need to call me. That's the only way. Call me, text me, email me, reach out, and uh, I'd be happy to help. All right, so let's get to it. Here's a look at St. Pete Beach. On the west side, of course, is the beach, and on the east side are Three Fingers, Three Great Neighborhoods, Three Palms Point, Bay of Shores, and Brightwater. And of course, you can't forget Pasa Grill at the southernmost tip. Now, Bella Vista is another great area right before you get to Pasa Grill. I'm gonna give honorable mention to Mud Key here, as you see circled, just because it's a little bit longer hike to the beach. Why did these neighborhoods make my favorites list? Well, a lot of them are on the water. I can't miss out with that. They're breathtaking. There's a new construction next to an old charming house and you can walk to the beach. They're very close to the beach. Maybe, you know, it might take you 10, 15, 20 minutes, depending on how fast you walk. I myself enjoy a nice morning stroll to the beach or a nice brisk walk with a friend or maybe a run. And I love that about this area. Or you can go for sunset. Another perk is that there are no HOAs. If you want to build and paint your house blue, you can pick any blue that you want. There are no restrictions beyond what's permitted by our local municipality, of course. So you've got new construction as well as a variety of old construction as well. So I really love these neighborhoods. They're very well groomed and People take care of their yards, regardless whether there's an HOA or not. And there's lots of lovely water views. You know, you're not on the beach side, but you're on the intercoastal, and that opens up a whole new bag of tricks. If you like to paddleboard, if you want a boat, you can put a dock in, have a boat. And goodness, the sun rises with your coffee on the back of your dock or the balcony. It's just absolutely stunning. I moved here from Minnesota about 15 years ago. Does it ever get old? Absolutely not. 
Now, I promised we'd talk a little bit about schools. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because I know not everybody has school-aged children. But here in St. Pete Beach, public schools, you're zoned for Azalea Elementary, which on niche.com, which is what I recommend folks go to to get an understanding of how the school situation is. Azalea uh, Elementary is, um, they're about shy of 600 enrolled and they're rated B on niche.com. Azalea Middle School is rated a C. And then also Boca Ciega. Boca Ciega High School, my kids went to Boca Ciega. I can't attest to the elementary or the middle schools, but uh, they really enjoyed their time at Boca Ciega. I was very impressed with the curriculum. They have a great AP and honors curriculum as well as they have a, a magnet school offering for medical professionals. They call it the uh, Center for Wellness and Medical Professions. So it's a county-wide magnet program, which is in high demand. Okay, I also promised a little insight into the market trends or what's available today as far as single family listings here at the beach. <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't mean to bump that. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna talk waterfront homes. So today there are 78, total of 78 ocean or bay or saltwater type waterfront homes available in Pinellas County. And St. Pete Beach has five, just five, five single family waterfront homes, varying between 1.6 million and 4.5 million. Now, if you want a beachfront, a true beachfront, not intercoastal, not on a canal, in Pinellas County today, there are only three. Three beachfront houses. Now, I'm not talking condos, I'm not talking townhouses, I'm talking single family residences on the sand. So, where do we go from here? Well, I suggest if you want to move to the beach or anywhere in Tampa Bay and you want the best deal on a great property, give me a call today. The market is still hot. Inventory is still low. So let's get started. The only way I can help is if you give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, and let's do this. Until next time, see ya.